Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. If you're new, please hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you can get notified whenever a new video is released on this channel. If you wanna check out more hood tours, visit my channel, look through the page. I got over 300 plus tours covering all different neighborhoods in Philadelphia, PA. Y'all been missing that, right? Y'all like, yo, tune, but what happened to your traditional intro? I feel like I wanted to switch it up a little bit the last couple of videos. I didn't wanna sound like a computer generated robot. So yeah, as y'all can see, we out here, we're in North Philly, I'm passing Sterner Street. We're going to be doing a hood tour in North Philly. We're on A and Sterner. We're about to hit A and Lehigh. We got Episcopal Hospital in front of us. That's the hospital your boy, Mr. Toon. Toon 215 was born at. Yes, I was born there in 1988. Y'all see, we got Jersey riding shotgun. We're gonna make this right-hand turn. Y'all know, cause I ain't nothing pleasant to look at, but Jersey, on the other hand, she's beautiful. I'm gonna roll down the window so she can get a little bit of, you know, ambience. We get some fresh air in here. If you're new to the 360 tour experience, you can turn your mobile device all around you, up, down, left, right, turn it around, and you can see everything that's happening around me. Not at once, not at the same time. You might have to watch it several times to see everything, but you can get a look at what's on my right, you can hear and see the truck on my left, and so on. If your picture looks grainy, that's because YouTube automatically recommends the video in 360 resolution. I know, horrible, right? That's why it looks grainy but the video can go up to 4K. So you can actually, on the top right hand corner of your screen, you should see three dots. Those three dots, you can click it and it should have a drop down menu or on the bottom right hand corner, you should see like a little gear wheel. Click one of those two things that I just mentioned and it'll give you the option for settings. Click settings and you can change the picture resolution, the quality to, it starts at 360, then it goes to 480, 720, 1080, 1440, and then 4K. 4K is the best resolution. However, make note, you need super fast internet to enjoy 4K. If not, it's gonna lag, it's gonna look buffery, but it's gonna be crystal clear. The sweet spot for traditional internet is like 720 to like 1080. Sometimes you can get away with 1440, but yeah, 1080, 720, that's about right. This is an interactive, immersive experience. You guys are taking a virtual tour with the YouTube channel Tune215, and I'm Tune, Mr. Tune, and we're in the 215, we're in Philadelphia. Right now we're in North Philly, we're on front end Cambria. I'm gonna make this right hand turn on Cambria. We're gonna be passing Lee Street. We got Leveries Deli on my right hand side. Go ahead, buddy. Go ahead. You're more than welcome to go, sir. I'm gonna go straight. We'll probably go down that block a little bit later. We're passing Water Street. Fix myself. <laughs> We're on Swanson. They beeping. Impatient, right? Ha ah, he said, oh, that's a nice dog. Look. <laughs> That was funny. I don't know if y'all heard that. I don't know if y'all capture that in surround sound. Did you know that if you have a surround sound or headphones, you're supposed to be able to hear this in surround sound, meaning if there's a sound effect that goes over there, you should hear it over there and so on. Not in stereo, but in surround. All right, let's make this left right here on Ella. 2900 block of Ella. We got a rest in peace memorial right there. And we got the Mexican rod painting. 2900 block. You guys can look around me. I'm only traveling six miles an hour. So if it seems fast, I'm sorry. I'm just allowing it to coast. I got it in second gear, but I'm just allowing it to roll downhill. All right, so we're about to cross over Ella. Good looking, bro. He looked out on the cookout. This park right here on my left-hand side was crazy. It used to be like how Kensington 
is now with all the people shooting up right next to it. It used to be just like that, but then they they put all the gates around it, and when they put the gates around it, nobody was able to lay in the park and shoot up and all of that. So I think some of the riffraff that's under Kensington and Allegheny right now, you know, the notorious Kensington that you guys see on YouTube, I think some of that came from here because, you know, now they can't shoot up. There'll still be a good bit of people out there. Look at Jersey gonna be playing musical chairs. We got dirt bikes on my right hand side. We got dirt bikes. There you go. He was on the 150. He was on the 150. Popping that. That's Brap's block. The young homie Brap. I shot an episode of Street Scrapers on that block. I was about to go through it, but I figured, yeah, it's cool. It didn't look like there was much activity out going on over there. We'll, we'll probably go down like, like A Street. We got graffiti on my right and on my left. We're on B Street. I'm gonna make this left-hand turn on Lippincott. We got a little canopy on my right hand side. People are washing cars, listening to music. Y'all could turn the camera right. Yeah, y'all could just move your device around and you'll be able to see. Passing Ella. If you have VR glasses, like the VR goggles, that's the best experience you can have because it's hands free. You don't gotta like worry about holding your arms up. I don't even got VR goggles, so just imagine. <laughs> I got VR technology, I'm able to shoot it, but I still have yet to invest in VR goggles. Look on my right hand side, look at that desolate oasis of nothingness. Trash, dumping, look at tons and tons of trash rags. Look at even Jersey's disgusted. Aren't you Jersey? You're disgusted. <laughs> I right, run A in Clearfield. We got an abandoned house on my right. Somebody in the middle of the street, what are they riding? They're laying down, riding something that involves them laying down. Yeah, he was riding some type of contraption. She's getting an alert because she she hears so much noise and she's like seeing so many people so she's starting to pay attention. Take a seat, Jersey. Take a seat. Take a seat. No, we can't we can't show that right now. You gotta sit down. Sit. Jersey, sit. Hey, sit. They ain't beeping at me. They beeping at somebody back there. Yeah, she has to be professional. If she's gonna ride shotgun, she has to be like a human being. <laughs> work, work. You hear them screaming loud, loud, work, work. So they sell both objects on the same strip. <laughs> you heard Jersey? They try to give her a... a and Jersey said, no, good girl, sit down. Good girl, now she's gonna try to show love. Good girl, sit. Yeah, they try to get her attention and she was like, no. <laughs> yeah, she has fun. She just goes bouncing back and forth, back and forth. I, I, I love her because she be, she be um, protective when she needs to be, you know what I mean? Look at all this dumping on my right hand side. Look at that incredible amount of dumping. There's a dude right here on my left. He nodded out. Oh, I got a needle, Pop. Say no to drugs, Pop. Damn, he got the needle in his mouth. That's crazy. His arms was all poked up. He, was, he had scabs. So he'll buy it right up the block. And then he'll go right there and right up the block and sh shoot it. Shh. 
crazy, right? Back in the day on the block that I grew up on, I remember the dealers would check the users. They would check them if they was using it on the block or close to the block. Like let's say if there was kids and the dealer saw them use the substance next to kid. Like I remember when I was growing up, they were selling a lot of crack out. So I remember that if that if the dealer would see them, you know, smoking a rock next to kids, the dealer would, would like, yo, take take that elsewhere. You know what I mean? Yeah. So nowadays they be using it like right on the corner of the block dubs zanny bars he said bars bars unless bars is what which type of bars are you talking about the tombstones the four little brick johns the, the horse tranquilizers basically because <laughs> them johns knock you out yeah the weather beautiful now so all of the substances come out now. Come on, Jersey. Sit up front. Come on. We got some music in front of us. I might have to roll up the window because that music is right there. Yo, that Honda Odyssey got some BMW uh, 745 rims. The BMW 745, this Honda Odyssey minivan in front of us has BMW 745 rims. Crazy, right? We're passing Front Street. We just passed Freddie and Tony's and the Botanica, which is like a rosary bead shop where you can get like rosary beads and things of that nature. As y'all can see, mine's is the glow in the dark one so this actually glows in the dark we're on hope street the 3000 block of hope street i'm actually tuck it in though so it doesn't get kinked up in my seatbelt. i had to slap the seatbelt on because you know not only for safety reasons i mean we're only going six miles an hour passing howard street but because somebody out there in the world wide web is going to go tune you know you need a seatbelt. all right we're going to roll down the window Roll down the window just so we can get some fresh air. I could turn on the air conditioner, but I don't want to turn it on because then you'll hear that that constant wind blowing. Y'all just saw the craziest fall ever. Somebody was really in and they fell. They had one of those. They had like a KTM motorcycle. It was on on Aramingo. I wish I would have had the camera rolling, but I, I just came out the Honda shop. I actually just bought a, I just bought a, a speed, go ahead, go ahead, young boy. I just bought a Speedo cable for my bike, for my Supermoto. I just bought a Speedo, well, I ain't just buy it. I ordered it a couple days ago and I just picked it up because I got the, the text that said it was ready for a pickup. So I was coming out the spot and when I was coming out the parking lot, the dude, the homie was wheeling his, his KTM, it was, I believe it's KTM's orange, his street bike and he was 12 and he was 12 o'clock and I don't know if he forgot to press the brake or something. And he looped it. And he went right into oncoming traffic. That would have been prime time footage. That would have been like magnificent. But, you know, I wasn't thinking about capturing right when I came out the Honda shop. And um, make note that I jumped out. Like I jumped out, I like blocked on, oncoming traffic. We're on um, Masher and Cambria. My bad, y'all, I was talking passing Waterloo. I was um, blocking oncoming traffic and then I don't know if he hit a Honda Odyssey. Speaking of Honda Odyssey, it was a Honda Odyssey on that side. And his bike went sliding and he 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 got ripped up his his knee. Like it went straight through his jeans. His I think he had some fresh butters, like some fresh boots. His boot got ripped open. His bike, a couple pieces broke off it. He was with a homie with a slingshot. His homie stopped too. Let's make this right. Look at this little Jeep. <laughs> Jeep got a little system. Let's make this right hand turn. Are they blocking the middle of the street or what? Because late is the street blocked. It's a good chance that this street is probably blocked. Only one way to find out, right? It looks like this street might be blocked. There's a car in the middle of the street. I wish if the street was blocked, I wish they would just put a cone at the corner. That would be more effective than blocking it with a car in the middle of the street. What's up, cat? Meow, meow. 
Look, look at the little hook cap. Look at Jersey. Jersey said, cat where? Yeah, they blocking the street. They, the car is off in the middle of the street. And is it off? Is there somebody in it? If there's somebody in it, I would kindly appreciate it if you... No, there's nobody in it. Yeah, for that, they should have just put a... Let me let me reverse without looking back for y'all. That's, that, that's what the mirrors are for. Most people don't even utilize the mirrors. Like, you know, normally we'll put our arm behind the john and we'll look back, but... I got all these mirrors, I might as well utilize them, right? <laughs> you gotta watch it because there's kids out here and I don't wanna, you know. I'm reversing at like one mile per hour, so. I used to hang on this block um, growing up. My stepmom used to bring me to this block because her uh, folks, there's a little bicycle on my right hand side, don't wanna run over the little girl's bicycle because my folks, and I got family on the next block, well. Whoa, whoa. Don't, don't do that, lady, because if the little girl's barking at her, but then if Jersey jumps out of the car and attacks the little girl, you hear Jersey? Jersey, no, already. Jersey told her to shut up. <laughs> Good girl. Sit. Take a seat. Sit. Yeah, y'all should put some type of clothing. Like, come on, put, put like a cone here so nobody else makes the same mistake that I just did. saw half the block and y'all saw my reverse game but that was the purpose the purpose was to actually show you the neighborhood like they're still working on this building on my right hand side i used to go to that building too it was owned by asians i don't know who owns it now i don't know if, if they sold it off they probably sold it off yeah then i had a homie in high school that his folks owned that that salon right there i think this necklace is kind of contorted they had a homie right there that he owned that um, salon, his, his family. But I don't know. I don't think they, I think they sold that off years ago. His name was Fernando. I'm going to make this right hand turn on Lee Street. We got a couple RIP memorials on my left hand side. Like if y'all turn the camera on my left hand side, y'all see the memorials. Two of them. We just passed two of them. Now, Jersey, you want to come up front and hang with me? You want to hang with me, yo? No? You don't, you don't want to hang out? I don't normally bring her out on tours. I brought her out on several tours. I just don't bring her out on every tour because I like to, you know, I like to ride dolo. But I figured today was a nice day. I'm going to walk her after I shoot this video, let her run around in the park. You know what I mean? So I figured it was only right just to bring her out. She's ready to jump out now. <laughs> but it's cool. The dude had the deepest voice of a lifetime. And they like, <laughs> His voice was deep, yo. When I was a kid, I always wanted a deep voice. And for some reason, I feel like my voice never deepened. Like, the deepest that I could get my voice is like, that's trying too, too hard. I can't even go deeper. <laughs> Yo, but yeah. That's what she said, right? <laughs> we on front of Somerset. I couldn't resist that silly joke. Silly rabbit. Tricks are for kids. Past the whole street. That was the block that we was trying to come down, but... That was a failed attempt. We're on Howard, Howard and Somerset. We got the lighthouse on my right hand side. Like the, the beacon program, after school programs, all types of stuff used to be there. Passing Waterloo, make note that I ain't ever attend the lighthouse for any programming, but I did know of it. There's two lighthouses, there's another one around the corner. We got the Iris Brown townhouses on my left hand side. We're on Masher, Masher and Somerset. We got Ming River Palace. Jersey, take a seat. Sit. Look professional. 
Mutter. She got a little doggy on my left hand side. Jersey got her eyes on that dog. Look at her, look at her. She won't go back there and mess with the dog. She is pressed on the dog. Pretty soon, if that dog is closer, she's gonna start barking. Look at all these go karts they got outside on my right. She's gonna host the whole conversation here. Watch. She's gonna host the whole conversation. Is she eating her SpongeBob popsicle? Lady, your SpongeBob popsicle gonna melt. If you don't eat that that SpongeBob popsicle, that shit is gonna melt. And now they tell me to wait after they had me wait this whole time. Notice there's a parking on my right hand side with a cone. They could just easily move the cone and park up in the cone parking. And it's women. Make note that the driver is a woman too. Delaware uh, temporary tags means that they probably just bought that from the Delaware auto auctions. A lot of people go from Philly to go to the Delaware auto auctions to buy cars for the low. Jersey, what you barking at? She barking at an old lady I had the door. Yo, she just went out the car, across the street, back to the left hand side, back to the right hand side. What she gonna do? Take her social security number? Gonna get her date of birth? Would you guys like to text each other? Your ice cream was gonna melt. <laughs> doing all that talking while that ice cream going melt. She left. You got me waiting here while you sitting there playing with Spongebob in your hand. Oh, now we got another one right up the block. Ah, uh, you seen that little moped? Y'all seen that little moped, right? Was it a moped, a bicycle? Did it have a motor? No, it didn't have a motor. That was just a, a, a mountain bike. Uh, not a mountain bike, that's one of them foldable bikes with, with gears. Come on, Papa, move that ish. Now you wanna play, oh, no, I gotta roll up the windows cause now he about to bump his system and I hear some Junior Mafia, some P. Diddy and, um, what's, what's, what's that, Biggie? Yeah, it's, yeah, I love it when you call me, let me put it on it. They taste in his face as I. Yeah. Oh, hey. You got minced garlic? That don't look like minced garlic. That thing is green. We got system behind us. Oh, man. This, this, this block right here. I feel like I'm in a parade. See, if you have anywhere important to go in Philly, do not take little detours like this because this will impede your, your you know, travel. But luckily, I'm not in a rush. I came through these blocks to specifically show you guys the type of stuff that you'll go through in the hood. That's why you don't hear me beeping, you know? From um, Cambria and Mutter. This is a popular area, very popular hood. A lot of shooting, a lot of fighting, a lot of drama, <laughs> a lot of drama in this hood.
Yeah, I'm not gonna go right because that's all traffic. We just wasted like a whole three minutes on that block. All in the name of a SpongeBob popsicle. There's a lot of lots on this block. You could probably try to purchase a lot or two, but be prepared to get backlash, especially from the people who's taking care of them for so many years. If you buy it from under their noses, I know most people are gonna say, well, tune, they have plenty of time to buy it, but you know, you're preaching to deaf ears here. <laughs> I already know what you gotta do, but not everybody knows what it is you gotta do. This old head right here always buys cars. You see, he got one, two, three, passing Hancock, four, five, six cars. I'm gonna be surprised if he got more on this side. Let me see, because he always, there's somebody that always, around this time of the year, around income tax season and everything, he buys, no, there's nothing over here. He'll go to that Delaware auction that I was telling you about. He'll go to the Delaware auto auction and he'll buy anywhere from six to 10 cars and he'll park them right here on this corner and put his, his number on them. And there's a dude right here in the wheelchair. Oh, dude, I've seen you before. Y'all beeping at me. I can't do nothing if there's a vehicle right here in front of me. They tripping. Past the second street. I would've went down second, but it's cool, it's cool. Passing Phillips Street, we got Sabor Latino on my left hand side, corner store, Spanish restaurant. We're passing American Street, 2900 block of American Street. Go ahead, bro, I'm gonna let you go because I ain't in no rush. Take a seat. Wipe that eye boogie off your eye, though. You gotta look professional. <laughs> Take a seat. Go ahead, sit, sit. You gotta sit because when I press the brake, look it. Aw, uh, you see, I told you that you was gonna fly forward. You gotta sit, that's, that's happened before. To make this right hand turn on Third Street. You all right, girl? Lucky Garden, that's the reason why I need her to sit. And I've buckled her up before. I know what y'all thinking. Tumba, put on the seatbelt. She slithers right out of the seatbelt. You all right? You all right? That's why sometimes it's probably better for her to be back there, but. She needs to understand sometimes you gotta sit down. You can't just be standing around. Do children sit in the vehicle standing around? No, right? We just passed Elkhart. We're on third and gurney. Yeah, if I press the brake, somebody in front of us slams the brake and I gotta press the brake, she's going forward straight to the dashboard. There she goes, she's standing up again. It's all right, you can enjoy your time. Passing Oriana Street. Make a left here, but I think I'm gonna go up to Lawrence. We got a motorcycle behind us with a loud system. I'm gonna make this left hand turn. Yeah, because he's playing music. Oh, uh, he's gonna be behind me play, playing music. Yeah, because like then that's gonna come out in our audio. And I'm not really finning on trying to talk over a system. His motorcycle had a system. Yeah, I'm gonna run on the windows and you can hear the ambience. I don't know if you hear the ambience, but it was it was loud for a motorcycle. Because the speakers are right outside, so I expect it to be loud, you know what I mean? Yeah, you're more than welcome to go, bro, bro. We're on Lawrence and Clearfield. Feel like we got a bando right here on my right-hand side. People in it. I make this left-hand turn right here. People braiding their hair on my left. They're not braiding, but like, I guess they're doing like some type of pigtail. We're only traveling one mile an hour, so. Just coasting. Trying to offer him some earplugs. The 
dude said, I got some. He said, you can come look at them. The old head, you can come look at them if you want. The young fellow said, I got some. Like, he was sounding mad. Like, bro, like, he's trying to offer you some. What's up, cat? <laughs> meow, meow. There was a cat on the right-hand side. Bro, he's trying to offer you some ear, some earplugs. Just relax. Say no thanks. This is cool, bro. I got some. He's like, I got some. Like, dog, chill out. You angry at the world. Let me make this left hand turn right here. Yo, do me a favor, Jersey. You gotta take a seat, dog. Or go to the back. Go to the back. Go to the back. That is safer for her to be in the back than. Let's make this right on Lawrence. Yeah, it's safer for her to be in the back than for her to be in the front and then. For whatever reason, if I gotta press the brakes, let me open up that, that back window for her. Wait, you wanna go to that back window? Go ahead. Window. <laughs> I stayed up to her window and she walked through it. Yeah, she's obedient. She's pretty obedient. She sits, she um fetches, she runs around. She's, she's pretty trained. She's attached to me, like extremely attached to me. She don't let people get close to me like a couple times, like we got Joe Elvin grocery on my left. We're on Lawrence and Somerset. One time I was at HP. HP is short for Hunting Park. Um, and I was at HP and I was in my minivan in my Odyssey in the back. And I was on the phone. I forgot what I was doing. I was busting like some type of offer up or like a Craigslist trap. And Long story short, I'm looking down at the phone and I had the back door open, rolled open because it's a minivan. She was with me and some dude, he was, let's just say he was a dude that liked the dudes. <laughs> he had like long hair. He had like the, like, like his jewelry on and everything. This is Julio de Burgos Bilingual Middle Magnet School on my left. He came up to me and I didn't catch, like, I didn't peep game. I didn't catch it until she barked and, and like, see, Jersey, I just had to press the brake and you almost went to the dashboard. Go to the back. I, sometimes I have to press the brake and I don't want her to smack the dashboard. Um, we're crossing Lehigh. Yeah, there's mad people at this park right here on my left-hand side. There's a lot of people out here. So the dude was like, hey, do you have any change? And I swear, like, when he said, hey, do you have any ch She jumped right over me, jumped on my lap, and launched at him. She was like, oh, 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 oh. She launched out. He said, ah. <laughs> He got scared. He said, never mind. And he just left. But like, she don't, she don't play. She don't play. This is a good dog. One of the best dogs I've had in my life next to um, Brownie. Rest in peace, Brownie. We're on hunting then. And Lawrence. We got Alberto Grocery Inc. On my right hand side. Yeah. <laughs> That was funny. <laughs> that was funny, yo. That was a couple years ago, like two or three years ago. They're ripping open a lot right here. They're gonna be building. You know they're gonna be building right here. They're gonna be building. The stop sign there. Can y'all let me go? Good looking. Thank you. Appreciate it. Love you long time, sir. behind me had a, a hole in the muffler and I'm hearing like a, like a purr. I'm like, hold on, my muffler ain't got no hole in it. Where I hear that purr from? And it was because the vehicle behind me was really close and it, his on idle got like a like a hole in it. You can hear it. As, as he pulls closer to me, I hear the muffler. I don't like holes in my muffler. The second I get a hole in my muffler, I go straight to the muffler shop and repair it. I can't stand having holes in my muffler. No way. We on 5th in York. We got Big Boys Mini Market. We got Flores Grocery Store. I can go right, I can go straight, I can go, I can go around. What should I do? 
think I'm gonna go straight, then go right, then go left, go through like 8th, 9th, and Huntingdon, then probably go through like 9th Street, then cut through 5th Street, then go up 5th and West, and probably go to, to Hunting Park area, maybe like around Percy. The thing is that different neighborhoods, go ahead, bro, bros. The thing is that different neighborhoods, different things that happen all at once. So, you don't, like right now as we're here, there's so much drama or ambience happening all over the city at one time. But I can't place myself everywhere at one time. So, I'll make this right on Fairhill. Go up Fairhill. Who is this on Fairhill in York? Doing 15 miles an hour. I'm just cruising, casually cruising on second gear. Somebody behind me got a system. I think they're listening to Rick Ross. Look at this little EF on my left hand side, this little hatchback DX Civic. 1988 through 1991 platform. Fourth generation. No, you're playing music. We don't do that around here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to roll up the windows because he's he playing music. And I know y'all like, but too, but you can edit it out. I'm not trying to edit it out. I like to keep the ambience natural ambience jersey's like all right now i can come up front yo this is the bike that I fell on my right hand side yo i swear that was, that was the orange bike that fell one wonder where the where the, where the owner at maybe that's his um shop or maybe he he know people there right, let me make this left hand turn this car behind me is still with the music if if he follows me one more block i'm gonna just park up and let him pass because i'm trying to get away from the music Uh, he's behind me like two cars, so even if he turns this way. Yeah, he did turn this way. Like, are we going through through the same route here, buddy? <laughs> we just passed 6th Street. Yeah, I still hear the music. Uh, we're now approaching Marshall, Marshall Street. We got affordable housing on my right hand side. You gotta take a seat. I'm telling you. For some, for whatever reason, if I have to press the brake, you're gonna be in trouble. Success restaurant on my left hand side is a Chinese store. Passing Franklin. <coughs> my bad, y'all. We just passed Seventh Street, too. thinking of doing all these zigzags and that's because that lady that was eating the popsicle she was like using up some of our valuable time just eating a popsicle and that's why sometimes I try to drive at a steadier pace because if I don't drive fast then we we waste a lot of time you know what I mean rather than getting more footage the the fact like if I do 15 20 the whole way through all these neighborhoods y'all will see a whole lot more but y'all will complain about, um, not everybody, some people don't mind. Let's make this left on Nathan Cumberland. We got Veterans Playground right there. But then some people would say I'm driving too fast and y'all won't be able to see everything. But the slower we drive, as you can see, I've been doing like five, 10 miles an hour. The slower we drive, we got John F. Hartramp Community School, am I right? <laughs> the less that y'all will get to see. So it's hard to balance it out. Jersey, you can't like stay on top of me while I'm driving and I need to shift gears. <laughs> Unless you learn how to shift gears. Hey, like, she was about to just sit on my lap while I'll be driving. Could you imagine that, that big old dog sitting on my lap? She tripping. She's a good dog though. On 
Lehigh. A's in Lehigh. Let's cross over Lehigh. Got Burger King on my right hand side. And that's my timer. I set that timer so it lets me know how much battery and SD space I got left on my camera. Because I don't want to go over too much. And then, you know what I mean? So I'll probably try to squeeze y'all in another five. I might be able to do another five or ten minutes. The thing is, we're on Ace of Somerset, crossing over Somerset. The thing is, is that I don't like when it abruptly stops. That's happened to me twice already, where it abruptly stops because my battery dies or because my SD, you know, storage. It's, it's 5.7K footage. The camera shoots 5.7K. Now, on YouTube, the max it can go to is 4K. So. 5.7k that's a large video file these video files are huge and i gotta go through one heck of a conversion process to convert the footage like four times to transfer it from different devices come on guys you guys are biting into our clock But I ride it on, on until it until it dies, right? Just just drive on until the battery dies. Well, if it abruptly stops, I'm going to let you guys know now. It wasn't my fault. It's because the battery died, or either the SD card, you know, filled up with footage. But yeah, I feel bad. I feel like y'all ain't really get to see much. Y'all get to see what I get to see every day. <laughs> Pastor Franklin. Which isn't much to look at either, might might I um, add as a mental note. <laughs> it's not like... I'm on 7th in Cambria. The sun isn't out. I think the sun tucked away a little bit, so it's not as active as it normally is. Normally it's a lot more active, a lot more people out. Even though there's some activity out now, but this is an understatement. Another system behind me. And I don't really listen to that music, that Spanish uh, reggaeton. I don't listen to that at all. Like you can't pay me to drive around with that. <laughs> well, maybe passing Marshall Street. You pay me a thousand dollars, like, like every five minutes. Like that's torture. I, I can't. I can't. I don't feel thorough driving around listening to reggaeton. Now my cousin, on the other hand, that boy loves that stuff. Hey, <laughs> Chavo, I gotta roll up this window. No way, dude. I gotta roll up the window because it's like it's drawing. It's impeding on my touring experience. Look at the little dude right there. Well, not the little dude. Look at the dog holding the little. I said, look at the dog holding the little dude. Look at the dude holding the little dog. Y'all saw that, right? I said, the little dude holding. <laughs> the dog. Hold... Look, he just put the dog down. You see him? Yo, he just threw the dog down like if it was like a, like if it was like a, like like a Pokemon, like. Pokey, Pokey dog, go! <laughs> I had a green light, now I'm gonna go. And then the bad thing is, with Jersey too, she licks up all my windows. So the windows on my right hand side got all her slobber all on the window because her tongue be hanging out. I'm on Fairhill in Cambria. And we're gonna have this car follow me for probably several blocks. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna park up and I'm gonna let him go. Because, no, matter of fact, I'm gonna make this left on 50 because there's only one more block of torture that I have to go through. I doubt we're on uh, Reese because I doubt that he's gonna make this left. And if he and if he makes his left, it's a two-lane street, so I'm just gonna allow him to pass us. Make this left on Fifth Street, Central de de Oro, which is the center of gold. Yes, he kept going straight. Woohoo! But Fifth Street got so much traffic. The traffic on Fifth Street is incredible. This is a little shopping district, guys. Not many buildings are open like it used to be but this is where the locals come shopping at. I've did walking tours through here. I've did driving tours through here. Did a lot of tours through here. <laughs> that Yukon barely even made a stop. 
It just rolled the whole stop sign. But look at me, look at little old tune just making a stop. Hey, even the scepter um, utility worker right here on my right wanted to fly by. Look at, boom, this person's flying by. I'm doing 16 miles an hour. I guess everybody be in a rush. I just don't be in a rush. I guess that's the good part about being your own boss. When you're your own boss, you set your own schedule, you plan your own day. You don't really have to report to anyone. If that makes any sense. We're on Clearfield, Griffin Clearfield. On my left-hand side, if you guys look at this wall on my left-hand side, you see tons of graffiti. I walked by it before, but hey, you can just put the camera to the left and look at all that artwork. It's colorful. Y'all might not even be able to distinguish what's on the wall, but this next one coming up, you guys might see. And if you're familiar, if you're an avid viewer of the channel, then you know the avenue that I'm going up. If you're from Philly, then you already know the avenue I'm going up to. So. Fifth Street always sucks, though. Fifth Street always has a lot of traffic. I can cut left. Let me cut left and take a little de detour. No, let me go straight, because the next block be popping. Like, it be popping like bacon in the pan. Blah, 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 blah. It be popping. Then we'll probably bust a left. Yeah, that's the bark. The little mural. We're on Fifth and Allegheny. The sign says here on the supermarket, we serve our community only food and grocery. We do not have cash or expensive items in the store. We support the community and the cause to protect your rights. Black lives matter. Your lives matter. That's what the sign says. Passing 5th and Allegheny. Driving up 5th Street. This rec center on my right hand side, the, the Rivera Rec Center, they're supposed to be doing a whole new renovation. They're supposed to update that thing. It has the Man Older Adult Center, the Community Center for Adults, and all that stuff. Youth, passing Willard Street, yeah. They're supposed to uh, do some renovation there soon. Well, Fifth and West. New Star Chinese on my right. Got a Rest in Peace Memorial on my left hand side, Poo. Rest in peace, homie. Passing Cornwall. Out there fixing the car. I'm gonna take it to the next bike. I was gonna go down Glenwood, but Glenwood's gonna shoot me back down. I'm trying to get the Percy. I'm at least trying to give y'all the benefit of the doubt and get the Percy. If we can get the Percy, then I'll be content. Percy is by Erie in the Hunting Park neighborhood. I mean, there's a Percy in South Philly, so Percy runs northbound, southbound, but it breaks up on a few occasions. Passing Tioga, we got Principe Restaurant on my left hand side. We got Sesley right here. We'll go up probably like one more block. One more block and then make a left on Venango. See, a lot of people get intimidated when they drive stick because they see the stick um, lever, the stick shift, the shifter, that's what we can call it. They see that and then they see a third pedal and they get alarmed and they go, I can't drive stick. Little do they know, the only job you play in a stick shift vehicle and or manual five speed vehicle or six speed, depending on what you got, or four speed, because some cars are four speed. The only job that you play as the human being that operates the vehicle is you shift the transmission. That's it. Make this left hand turn on Fifth and Venango. We got a barbershop on my right hand side. I'm gonna roll down the window because it's starting to get a little muggy in here. Probably with her breath, she's like, <laughs> but yeah, so y'all can look at what they're doing in front of me while I talk. But um, the only job that you play when you drive stick is you play the job of the transmission. You, you gonna park, bro? Oh, it's a female parking. So what you do is with that third pedal, that third pedal activates the clutch. You really gonna just stop me, bro, bro? That third pedal just activates the clutch. So, 
whenever you want to shift the gear, whenever you want to come off a of first, whenever you want to shift the second, third, fourth, fifth, six, reverse. Not all cars are six speed, but I do mention six. Some people will go two, but what about six? I'm driving a five speed, so. Passing Venango and Randolph. Um, whenever you want to switch a gear, you can't switch the gear unless you press the clutch pedal. And that's the only time you utilize the clutch pedal. When you let go of the clutch pedal, it's like driving on an automatic. Look it, I don't press clutch till now. I want to put it in neutral. But right now I'm just on brake and gas, brake and gas. When I come off of first, I'm just gonna balance the clutch. I'm gonna press the clutch in and I'm gonna press a little bit of gas. And as I'm pressing gas, I'm gonna evenly distribute the amount of, of, of balance, of, of pressure to let go of the clutch and press gas in. Once the vehicle is rolling, I no longer need clutch. And every time I switch a gear, I press the clutch in just to switch the gear and I let go of the clutch and I'm done with, with the clutch once it's in gear. And that's it. And once you get used to it, it goes fast. We got an Alcoholics Anonymous building across the street at the church. There's a church location. We got Matumbo grocery store on my right hand side. We just passed in 6th Street. Jersey, you got some very hot breath. Here, let me open up the window so you can look outside because your breath is woof. That John is kicking, yo. Alright, on my right hand side, we got. That wasn't the block. Is it the next block? No, I think it was that block. The block where, um. What's his face? The, the, the murderer that I did a video of. Um. Heinick, Ga Gary Heinick. Was it that block or was it this, this block? No, it was the last block. Yeah, I'm gonna make this right here. Um. If y'all ain't go check out my Gary Heidnick virtual 360 tour, I actually walked up Fifth Street and I walked through a little a few of the back blocks and we walked through where the murderer, Gary Heidnick, where his house was at, where he kept you know several women hostage. He kidnapped them, left them in the basement. He was abusing them. He chopped one up into little pieces. He um, you know served some of the female's body parts to the other females mixed with dog food. Y'all can watch interviews and things with him. There's footage of him on the World Wide Web. But he was executed in 1999. He was given the death sentence. But that was his neighborhood. We just passed it. So that's why I just clean light bulb plug. I got to plug in the other video. You know what I mean? Might as well since we're here. But yeah. Y'all heard that alarm? The, it sounded like a security alarm going off. There's a beer distributor right here that you can drive through. It's like a pool. In. It's like a drive-through beer distributor right here on, on Erie. 7th and Erie, right next to Rise and Sun Ave and all of that. Right here on my left hand side. Turn your camera left. Quick, quick, quick. Y'all see that? It's a drive-through beer distributor. So you can drive through there with your car. You, 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 you go down 7th Street. And every time you drive through, there's a sensor that makes a noise so the owners or the people who work in there know somebody's pull, pulling in. So it's a sensor, it's crazy, right? We got Franklin shoot on my right. I could have went up Franklin. I'm gonna go up Percy. Um, we're on Erie. Passing 8th Street, now we're passing Darien. We're passing 8th now, now we're passing Darien. And then we're gonna hit 9th and then Percy. But yeah, so that's a drive through. So you drive through, you tell them what beer you want, boom, you give them the bread and you drive out. I don't know any other places or many other places in Philly that do that. That's one of the only places that I know that do that. You can walk in too. But you can drive it and just know every time you drive through there be prepared to hear that siren go off we're on ninth and erie i did a walking tour through here too it wasn't 360 but it was just a regular 4k walking tour yeah short season when we got ball shorts on the time frame either make this right on Percy we made it to Percy because I wanted to make it to Percy finally made it a one phone oh look at this dog on my left hand side I think we're well over our our time frame here not to mention that the longer the tour is, the larger the file size, the more complication that I have when exporting it, converting it, 
bringing the footage together on the timeline, etc., etc. So I think we'll wrap this up. There's a whole squad on my right-hand side next to the CRV, like 10 dudes. We cross this little street right here. There's a park right here on my left-hand side, like a little playground. We got two scrap trucks on my right-hand side. Yeah, we'll probably top it off when we go back around the corner to 9th Street, and I think it's a, it's a fika, 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 rizap. But not yet, not yet. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. And before you leave, show some love. Hit that thumbs up button. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? <laughs> what am I waiting for? Yo, Dan Jersey, you was about to eat my soul. Yo, she was about to taste my flesh. Y'all saw her. Yo, I caught her just in time because that tongue was going where it wasn't supposed to go. <laughs> she was about to lick my lips. Let's make this left on Del High. 3800 block of Del High. <sighs> yeah, guys, but with that being said, I had fun taking you guys on a little spin. This is the first virtual 360 immersive interior car tour. Most of the virtual tours I did with you guys were via me walking with a monopod, walking through the neighborhood. I know a lot of people said, Toon, you need to get yourself a stabilizer. I'm dizzy. Well, I got it right now on a Fanta Seal suction cup, suction cup tri-mount on the windshield. So hopefully that was steady enough for you guys. This is going to conclude our little tour of the hood, North Philly, you know, north side of City Hall, Philadelphia. I want to let y'all know, I appreciate y'all showing support. I appreciate your attention. Um, make sure to share this if you can, you know, show some love, comment in the comment section. And this is your boy, Mr. Tune, Tune215, Tune Ski, Tunism, Bad Tune, Tuner, Super Tune. Tunage, Tuni Cali Fragilistic Expialidocious, and every other tune that follows. <laughs> Tuning out.